Hey guys, this is uh, Black Diamond again. Um, we're going to be playing some State of Decay 2 Juggernaut Edition. Um, I'm, this is just going to be a preview of me playing this game. So we can, uh, I already played the game for about a day now. So it's, I'm going to show you the community and how I started. Um, this is my homestead. This is a custom zone, so I customized it pretty much. I've been playing this game about a pretty good time, and I recommend getting it. It's a really fun game. I'm going to load up into the game and see and show everything about it and how it's, how we can play. If you don't know anything about this game, I can show you how. I can tell you the basics about it and what you need to do, how to find stuff, like... What well, says at the bottom the screen, looking for chemicals, you can find that at restrooms, warehouses, industrial drums. That means like barrels. You can find them in barrels. If you find them in barrels, you get like nine, sometimes ten, sometimes twelve. You can get that. How many you can get. But it's pretty useful to get chemicals because you're gonna need it for stuff. Like, you can use them for. Uh, ammo, you can use it for medication. It's taking a long time to load. <laughs> Sorry about the wait. It's going to be a bit, minute. See how it's gonna go. Well, I hope you guys had a good day so I just far. Of something. Sorry, if you did you can comment down I'm below? I'm not sure this is a good idea. Well, here is my community. I have been working on a, a pretty good while. And what what is this right here is pretty much this is the base. That was easy. It, here's the base so far. It's a big container for it. And it's the second map I'm on so far. And here's my vehicles. It's a military truck and a car I love driving around because it's fast. And here's a armored medium plated car where it's only medium. I could make it heavy. Then if you find like rug sacks like materials, food, like, you know, so on, okay, medication, ammo, materials, drop them off here, this is where you can drop them off at, this is not where you can, like, take out, withdraw the rug shots, or you sh short here. your ammo, you short out? your ammo, sorry, you can load gas into your cars, you can, if you have too many materials, you can scrap them into, uh, nuts, or you can view conversion, like, you can have heavy energy. I need obviously I need to have knowledge of electricity or knowledge of construction. I need to do that because I need to have it. And up here is where you craft your stuff at a workshop. You upgrade it to workshop 3 so you can have to do that. This is where you can craft bombs, mines. When I say bombs, I mean like explosives. Uh, fireworks, firecrackers, arrows, you can produce your own ammo, you can make vehicle toolkits. Regular ones you can find pretty easily. The advanced ones are a bit harder, but they can will improve your car a lot better. It will it will fix it a lot quicker. But this is pretty useful to have. Um, sorry about all the gunshots in the background. Here is the command center. The command center is where you can pretty much view all your slots. The large slots are the best for like beds and obviously like it depends about your trader. Like I'm a trader so this is where I can call in traders for like obviously like medical supplies, ammo, food, materials, gas. I can call in all those in and get them quicker. Um, well the small slots are for like uh, growing food, you gonna need that. I have two slots for that. They grow, 
they glow sorry about that they grow about 10 using both of them um, the trade depot is pretty much where you can have extra storage for your rug sacks for extra supplies the fighting gym is where you can improve your character's max health and fighting skills infirmary is where you can get like if your character's inju injured or trauma or or an infection you can get them treated here pretty much it's like a little hospital um, it's pretty useful to have all these here now but it just depends what you want and how you want to run it um, over here is the outpost you can you start off with two outposts maybe one I can't remember probably one and the more you upgrade your base the more outposts you can have so I have five the, the two first things I would probably get is power and water for your main base like the biggest base there possibly are on the map there are meds there is out I have outposts for medical ammo and food you have to find a water and you have to find all these on the map by exploring but the power is mostly pretty much the best one you can probably get because but the only thing is it takes two fuel per day and the water takes one fuel per day it's gonna cost pretty much three gas per day just to have water and electric now I know that's pretty weird but that's how you can get pretty much everything else pretty much running like food and it makes everybody else happy because there's power they can see and there's water so they can drink out of um, as for that um, at the command center you can get you can research new territories like new maps you can go to or you can get a satellite, satellite broadcast to get plus 20 inference ping whatever up there and earn some influence with whoever listening will improve computer, computer skills faster with computer skills drone hacking obviously you can get that too this is down down here is the beds this one can hold up to six beds so like six people can sleep in this one spot and over here is where more beds is for three more people and here's the trade depot uh, this is where people fight at you can upgrade this too if you had a warlord you can upgrade the fighting gym too and you need 10 chemicals this is where you can train cardio plus cardio XP this is can this can help you train your characters a lot faster and if you put like obviously mods here you can, I would put a water barrel here for them to drink so they can probably get more health and stuff like that like if you click it this is obviously where to take but it takes one minute when they fight and here's the inform infirmary you can have say if you got infected say if one of these people got infected you can put three in here if they all three got infected and then it will treat them over time or you can just use a plug sample and get rid of a quicker and a med kit so you can get rid of the trauma right now the, all my people is protecting based on those zombies can get here I have ten people you can become every character when you play this game and then here's the uh, gardens the gardens you can put these pots here where they can grow food but they take one material I have no problem with that because I can get them pretty easily. Um, this one produces 4.5. The one over there produces 6. And that's 10 point and a half food per day. And the people who takes up the 5 food per day. So that means I'm getting pretty much 6 food out of it. So I'm only losing 1 food. Well, actually I'm gaining 1 food. That's a good plus sign because that means I don't have to look for much food. And then I got the outpost for more food over there, so I don't have to worry about it. As you can see, six food per day, and then I put the fertilizer, so plus 50 food to kill food yield. And this is my guy with a sniper shotgun, that's pretty weird. You can snipe zombies if you wanted to, whatever. Just have a bunch in here, or you can go down there and kill them. Whatever. But there is three different types of zombies, counting the the main ones. There's plague zombies and there's regular zombies. Now the regular zombies are just regular zombies. Plague zombies, if they hit you, you were pretty like that red one right over there. If you hit by that, you will get infected. You do not want to get hit by that. 
you get hit by that, you gotta go get, go get traded and all that. Now there's juggernauts. Juggernauts are really hard to kill. They're pretty much big. Pretty much a big zombie that's pretty much hard to kill, and they can pretty much kill you pretty easily. If they grab you, you're pretty much dead. They will smash you against the ground if you're lucky, or you can get pretty much ripped in half. You don't want that to happen. I have never had that happen to me yet, and you can get pretty much eaten by them. You don't want that either. But you can put this on easy, medium, hard. Um, pretty much harder, or pretty much the hardest is lethal. Lethal is literally the hardest mode you can possibly get. You can get challenged how you want to play. Obviously, I never played it. But you can. I'm not going to say you can't. But you can. But the outpost is produce food and stuff like that too. But, sorry about that, but I, I, it's off the chart. But, obviously, like, uh, the freaks are the ones who run that really fast. And they can pretty much kill you pretty quick, too. And they can pretty much, pretty much tackle you down. And pretty much hit you multiple times. You probably don't want that. Like, I hear one right now. Where's he at? I wish you just heard one. I don't know where he's at. I think he just killed him already. But there's a freak, and they can tackle you, hit you a bunch of times, and pretty much kill you pretty quick. There's bounties. You can put bounties where you can get guns, melee weapons, and all that too. That's pretty cool to have, so you can get like custom weapons. Uh, if you get rogue tech them there, like I said here, this is where you can get all the stuff where you find searching. This is where you can make your, well, this is where you can store all your stuff, like toolkits, advanced toolkits, gas, books, you can get the books, plug examples, pick those up anytime you see them, uh, nuts, if you can find and repair your weapons, uh, medical, make sure you get those up, stamina, anything you see like a stamina symbol on, take it, because you're gonna need it, seeds, you're gonna need, scraps and citrus, you're gonna need, like, chem cases of chem uh, chemicals, jug of ethol, Gun parts will be pretty good to have, weapon remainings. Uh, make sure you get pr ammo presses, because this is how you make different types of ammo. There's different, there's many types of different melee weapons, there's many different types of weapons. There's Uzis, M4s, AKs, M1As, uh, Scars, Deagles, Revolvers, Bows, Crossbows, well, there's no bows, but there's Crossbows, Thompsons, you know, so what. Well, there's, this is pretty much the base here, but if you see on the top left, you see how many people I got, the amount of nuts I got, like, uh, yeah, pretty much the amount of nuts I have, like, 100 and 1,197, the amount of influence I got, I got 9,999, and the prestige points, you can only get that by playing Daybreak. Now, Daybreak is a, pretty much a game mode you play, and it will give you points every time you complete it. But the, it's hard to complete because you only got a certain amount of you don't know me yet, but you certain really amount of materials you can How use. A certain it? amount of ammo, certain guns. Every round there's an airdrop. Um, after you after you complete the first ten rounds, you will complete the mission. But there's waves after waves after waves, and you cannot let the zombies attack the person who's trying to get the machine working. If he if they he gets killed, the mission's over. And you will fail it. And you don't want to fail it because you get some good gear and you can pick out weapons you want at the beginning if, for a reward. And then if you keep doing it, you can get the rewards in in game, like right now. Yeah. Like the gun, melee weapon I got right here. It's from Daybreak. It's a really good weapon melee because it can knock them down pretty good and all that. But the, uh, pretty, pretty useful. Now, the Heartland. Heartland is a DLC. It's an it's a new whole story mode. It's a game mode. Nothing like it. Pretty much. It's just like like right there. That guy right there. Just then. The screamers. They if they scream, 
they, all the zombies nearby will hear it. And you will get attacked by them. And if you get attacked by them, it's going to be a bit harder on yourself. You do not want to get hit by screamers. As you see, my home status is really happy right now. The best you can get it. That's great. You should get it at that. But, you know, it's pretty much harder. Pretty hard every time. You should reload. Oh, you gotta reload. But, you know, it's gonna be hard. But the best part is to get the biggest base you can find after you get enough influence. Uh, the big, bigger bases cost 3,500 for the bigger bases. And then, like, the outposts cost, like, sometimes 1,500. Sometimes 100. Not much at all. But make sure to get the power and water first. And then decide what you want as, like, material-wise. Like, food, medication, ammo materials, gas, it depends what you want. When you get in here, make sure you build some farms and at least some beds because you're gonna need it. Some of these don't don't have to in workshops, so make sure you get a workshop because you're gonna need to make an ammo and stuff like that. Stuff for like play cards. I just like being on the winning team. Be the best you do. Um about it that I see here now. Um, this is the next map if you want to pick. You can pick up to like four maps, five maps. Depends what map you want to go on. I'm on uh, Cascade Hills. If you go on Cascade Hills, this is what the map looks like. The the be best base is down here. You will start off at this base right there. It's a house. All these blue things you see here is allied people, friendly people. They will drop off uh, packages like see supply drops if you radio them in or like Fight Club. This is the bounty broker. This is where you can get all the bounties and you can get your weapons and stuff and all that if you wanted some weapons. This right here, gray, is just neutral people. They can be hostile if you don't help them. You can refuse if you don't want to help them, or you or you can be helpful. And if they do, now you gotta worry about your community too right so if your community says we don't want to help them if you help them I'm gonna leave do if they say that go talk to them and say yeah you're probably right I won't go help them because you don't want to lose your person if you lose your person you lose them forever and you don't go back and get them because they don't like you um, if you have a friendly you can ally and then sooner or later you can recruit them and when you can recruit them you can some of them can recruit a few and then some of them can recruit all. Like all of them. You, you can recruit all three or just one. If you recruit all three, it's pretty rare to do. But it'd be pretty awesome to do because you've got more people you can play as. Now, sometimes you will see this this mission pop up, Wandering Trader. These Please are tell me people you haven't forgotten what we talked about. That guy cut me off. The Wandering Traders are pretty much, you can walk towards them and pretty much trade with them anything you have guns ammo uh, valuable items anything you have you can trade with them these people they they just want my guns right now they need guns they're up here um, this is a community Chester wants some stuff that he does not need um, that's why I keep canceling his mission now all these red things are pig hearts you need to take them out for the story goal I only took one out, but they're pretty hard to kill. But every time when you do damage to them, more zombies will come out. They will spawn plague zombies, and you don't want that. So you would get like a pilo launcher or like a grenade launcher or like a really good machine gun or shotgun to take them out really quickly. But once you destroy the plague heart, all the plague zombies will just die instantly. You don't have to worry about it, but the regular zombies won't. So you gotta worry about that problem. Now all of these uh survey points is where you can see where cars are see what these buildings are see if they're medical buildings pretty much discover stuff from the, from the towers um, there's random you can see where vehicles are but the vehicles are scattered around the map obviously you can see like there's one there uh, one here there's a couple one right there um, one here it's a race car they're pretty much scattered. Like right now, I have three here as mine. So the 
uh, that the NT, the military truck, and the Z Buster. Here's a survey car. That's the van, I think it is. And here's a truck. Here's a f outpost of mine. It, it gives me food every day, and the medical gives me food, at water, or medical every day, and then the ammo gives me ammo every day. And then here's the power and water that gives me water and power all the time. Well, when you're driving along, you can find bloaters. I forgot about the bloaters, sorry. But the bloaters, you don't want to drive on them because if you do, you will get toxic and you could die really quick if you don't jump out of your car. As soon as you run it over, your whole gas, the car will be pretty much damaging you because it has gas on it. And pretty much your character will get trauma from it or gas in, in, in hell at a station. And if you, uh, you better jump out so you can heal up and then, and then like take out all the zombies and let the gas, uh, go down until it's clearing and then you can go. It's pretty bad if you run them over because it's not the greatest. You know me, just trying to make myself useful. If you don't do these in time, they will fail, but you can, they will pop back up again some other time. And you can do them again. And here's the difficulty where you can change the difficulty of the actions of the zombies. Your community difficulty make them harder of the uh, zombies, uh, zombies sled, sledges, sorry. And then the map difficulty. So each rucksack is harder to find. Vehicle and gear is a lot harder to find. And blood plagues like the uh, things you find when you... Plague samples. When you kill the red ones, you can find them a lot quicker. But they can be harder if you put it on lethal. Lethal is the hardest. Nightmare was the hardest until they came out with the lethal. So lethal is pretty much really hard. You can die pre like instantly if you wanted to. Pretty much all these can be up to lethal, but they would be really hard on yourself. It's really challenging. I never, I don't want to really do it because I don't want to lose my characters. But I might do it one day for a video. Green is pretty much the easiest difficulty. I know I'm a pretty wuss because I have mine on green, but everything else is on standard. But this is what's about. Um, this is just one of the maps. This is where you can just check around. If you want to open your map, it's M. If you want to, um, O is where you can call, get medical advice get supply drops you can call on all these traders like food trader ammo trader fuel trader parts trader materials trader meds trader you can only do this if your leader is a trader and if you build a trader outpost if you do that you can trade with the all the traders multiplayer you can play with random people you can join with people well, when i say that you can get people join your game or you can get you can join someone else's game or you can volunteer for daybreak that what I was talking about a while ago is pretty much waves and waves and waves of zombies until you hit le level 10 and complete it and volunteer for Heartland. Heartland is a new DLC game where it's the store mode is completely different and you can do whatever you want. Um, Independence Pack is the independent pack that comes with State of Decay Juggernaut Edition. You can get weapons delivered with 1000 uh, XP as I say influence you can get supply drops for free but there's a 180 minute timer so pretty much two hours and 20 minutes and then you can get the van for a thousand influence a truck for a thousand influence you can get the car for free but you gotta wait two hours and 20 minutes and you can get the independence pack call trader for free and they will be near you or they will come to your base uh, daybreak is after you do the daybreak a couple times, you can call the trader in for free, or you can recruit people into your community. I got one of them already, but I got the operator where you can get a random operator. It could be anything. It could be a contractor, a, a uh, computer expert, a uh, you know sheriff or whatever. You know what I mean? Or you can do daybreak, obviously. And then stuck. Stuck is if your character is stuck in a place and you cannot get out. You click on it, it will, it will put you somewhere else near there. Or like if your car is completely stuck, you can't move it. Like it's you're pretty much stuck in a sticky situation. And you hit that, you are out of the spot. And then if you hit E, 
this is your skills to your player. Every player has different skills. I probably forgot to go through that. But here's my community. My community, this is my main guy. He's obviously Nick. And he is a leader of trader. Now all of these guys have different abilities. This guy has the leader of trader. This guy over here has the leadership of builder. This guy, this guy has the leadership of trader again. Warlord. Uh, this girl has sheriff. Sheriff is the one where you can uh, uh, have you can build a shooting range with, but she can make it better and help improving your shooting a lot better. You you probably would need that if you want your shooting quick up real quick. Um, she, the Warlord is where you can have an armory where you can craft every single ammo there and then, but it takes about 30 minutes to uh, build. Um, she's pretty good. I like her. I had her as a Warlord leader, but I changed her to I changed it to a trader, so I'm calling traders and a builder. Builder can make every make stuff nicer, you know, build stuff more luxurily. Luxury. I can't say the word, but you know, it makes stuff look prettier. And she she's the same thing a warlord but they're pretty good at that. a builder same thing but you know they all have different skills see like backpacking the main bottom ones are special ones and this guy knows how to do metal work so like craftsmanship and metal work he's good at doing that and she, she knows how to make ammo and this guy is 16 I don't know what that means but I need to change it he's good at um Knowledge of metalworks and craftsmanship. Uh, she's good at cooking. I gotta change because we don't need cooking. He is good at really good at cycling. So like, you get two materials per day and twenty five parts. You're it's that's pretty good because you're gonna need it. But he has really good health and pretty decent uh, stamina. Uh, this guy's good at computers. You're gonna need that for the command center and this is and spy drones. It would be pretty decent to have. Munitions again. He's, he can make ammo. He can. You can get more storage from having him. This guy knows medication where you can make medicine and like uh, plague samples and like you know boxes of plague samples. It's pretty good to have. Plague cures. I mean, sorry. And this guy knows utilities. So he's good at like hydroponic and boost power and water duration and improve it at something and power and water facilities so he's good at like the power and water stuff but this is where they pretty much are happy they're all cold they're not happy with that so I gotta do something with that you know it's just how it is and the base is where you can, you can actually control everything build stuff here if you want to uh, this is the amount of bolts I have. You can only have 9999 of influence. That's the max you can have. This is your prestige points where you can do on daybreak. Um, obviously, this is just a preview of the game, of going through it, how it's played. This is how happy my community is. They're empowered. That means they're really happy. <clears throat> this is the effects of, like, obviously, see, they're all green. That means they're all, it's all good. Everything's good. Um, if I go back to base, because I don't know how to do that. The treat level. Well, this is the noisiness. Outdoor bed is noisy. Daily maintenance is noisy. That's barracks. Trade depot is noisy. Inf inf infirmity is noisy. Now, the commander center is good because it's inside. And plus 10 command center. 3, that means it's really noisy, not good for the community. But if it's over 3, you're in a dangerous way right now. You don't want that to happen and obviously your materials they can only be at a certain point like 25 30 sometimes 55 just don't go hurt or they will get destroyed like right now you see my character is getting sleepy I've been having them for so long that they need to change out you don't want them to get so sleepy where you can't do nothing you don't want that so you go over here to the beds and view it click here and you can like say I want to go use Nick Hit. okay Nick's busy obviously but say I want to use uh, blam hit T let load and here I am with a brand new character with a spaz 12 and she's full health on my pretty much full 
health and full stamina. Really good character. But this is just a preview. This might be it of the video. Hopefully this is a good version of it. And I hope you guys enjoyed. I am Black Diamond. And I'll see you guys in the next video.